hello guys welcome back to another session today we are going to see how to implement rwkv in pytorch uh, so this is based on this paper uh, reinventing rnns for the transformers era so rwkv is a alternative to the transformers attention mechanism so we will see why he has come up with this approach uh, and you can see here the the time and space complexity of transformers and uh, other linear transformers mega and then our rwkv which has a much lower uh, time and space complexity uh, so how is this done so in this paper they introduce the rwkv network architecture which combines the advantages of rnns and transformers while mitigating its known limitations they propose a new attention mechanism reform reformulation that results in linear attention as chewing the quadratic complexity associated with standard transformer models so they are getting away from the quadratic uh, quadratic complexity of the attention layer they also conduct a series of experiments on benchmark data set to show the performance efficiency and scaling of rwkv maintaining large scale models and long range dependencies so let's see how this is implemented uh, how they have combined both rnn and uh, transformers so we'll go through this main block uh, the the thing is uh, instead of attention they use this the receptance weight key value model that is the rw kv r is for receptance vector acting as a acceptance of past information so this is used to base the past information w is a positional weight dk vector a trainable which is a trainable model parameter k is a vector analogous to k in traditional attention v is again uh, same as the traditional attention v so here you can see this diagram uh, say it is same as uh, similar to transformer but the blocks are different here you can see a layer norm and then you have your rkv linear layers and then you have a sigmoidal layer and a wkv layer and then you get the output and then there is a skip connection from here to here and you have a layer norm like in attention and then you you go through a r you get a r and a k and then go through a v and then a sigma and then finally you um, get the output so this is a time mixing and this is channel mixing so if you see the overall picture here you can see input input embeddings are going through a layer norm and then they go through a time mixing now the time mixing has a uh, input to itself it means that the, the state is preserved here the, the, what are the last input last inputs and outputs they are preserved here and then it is going to the channel mixing layer after that again you have your uh, layer norm out and the softmax layer uh, which is a standard uh, attention transformer head output so we can take a look at some of the equations of uh, time mixing and channel mixing we can look at the channel mixing first because that is much easier so rt and kt and ot these are the three rt is like wr and then uh, multiplied with xt and 1 minus mu r and then xt minus 1 this this mu r is a Uh, lenable parameter it is a dk parameter uh, and you have a dk parameter for receptance and the keys uh, so it's, a, it's just a mixing of the past value and the previous current value uh, multiplied with a mu k and 1 minus mu k and then you pass it through a sigmoidal layer a sigma of rt and and multiply the weight wv into max of kt square So this is the channel mixing. We adopt a, a squared ralu activation, as you can see, max of kt comma zero square as squared ralu activation. Note that in both time channel mixing, by taking the sigmoid of receptance, the sigmoid of receptance is taken, uh, which are intuitively using it as forget gate to eliminate unnecessary hist historical un information. So this helps us to eliminate the unnecessary. Uh, information it it is similar to what you have seen in rnn you must uh, you have seen the right the forget gate same as that now we will come to this time mixing um, here the time mixing we have uh, 
RT, KT, VT, which are again calculated through XT and X minus 1 multiplied by mu and 1 minus mu and passed through a linear layer. And the WKVT is is complex expression uh, which is a summation of uh, e to the power t minus 1 minus w plus k into v i plus uh, e u plus k t v t. Similarly, the down, down one is uh, just a summation of all this uh, uh, without this v i factor in this. And the output is again you pass the receptance through your uh, a sigmoid function and multiply it with WKV. This is how it is uh, the major equations are and in the end you can see there is one more equation which is helpful to uh, do the coding implementation. We will just look at take a look at that and I will explain uh, the time mixing block as an RNN cell. So how that is calculated, how this WKVT uh, KB is actually calculated is through this equation. Uh, we will take a look at it when we uh, see the code. Uh, some of the so I have uh, also taken an uh, example from here uh, the main RW KVLM as an uh, as an inspiration to write this. So let's go through my implementation. First, we import the torch and math functionalities. Suppose that the channel mixing we can write, uh, the channel mixing takes in a layer id, the number of the number of that layer uh, and then and then embeddings, embeddings dim dimension. So we have a time shift and then uh, so this is the uh, ratio 1 to almost 0 is like uh, layer id by n layer so it currently starts from 1 and it almost goes to 0 uh, so that is how it is uh, for the first layer it is 1 and then the second layer it will reduce third layer last layer it will be 0 so for every layer there is a number associated with it and then x is uh, torch dot once uh, of embedding size and we, we will change the value of the third value of i as i by n bit so embedding value we are changing it we are creating it as one i by the index by embed and now we are creating this time mixing k which is a torch dot power x raised to the almost uh, raised to ratio 1 to almost 0 so, so we are raising it to this value x to this value x is nothing but uh, i by n bit vector and time mix r also is the same uh, which is also a learnable parameter initialized to x to the power ratio 1 to almost 0 um, we are also having a hidden size which is 4 into n m bit so self dot key key for the channel mixing layer is a linear layer and receptance is another linear layer value is another linear layer so so now we'll take a look at this forward function. So first we'll calculate xx, which is the time shift value, and then and then xk is what x into xx is a time shift value because it's the previous value, and we are just doing a n zero pad two d to get the previous value uh, of the input. Xk is equal to x into self for time mix of k into one minus time mix of k into xx. So we must have seen that uh, uh, equation right. So this time mix is nothing but the mu and this is 1 minus mu. Similarly receptance we calculate. Suppose that we calculate the key using xk and and then we square it using torch dot square of relu uh, and then kv is uh, self dot self dot value pa we pass in through that k. We have seen that equation right before. Then RWKV is the torch or sigmoid of receptance multiplied by KV. So we return the RKV value. So this is channel mixing. Now we will take a look at this time mix which is a little bit complicated but we will take some time to understand. So let us take a look at this inputs, the layer id, the number of layers, the embedding dimension. 
so we are taking the attention size to be the n, n embed which is embedding dimension and again we have this ratio of 1 to almost 0 which is like 1 minus layer ID band layer so as the layer increases the ratio will uh, will change and will go till 0 ratio 0 to 1 is layer ID band layer, layer minus 1 as the layer increases this value will increase we also have a decay speed we will come to that when we are seeing why this decay speed is needed and we are filling this decay speed as this formula uh, minus 5 plus 8 star h by attention size minus 1 uh, raised to the power 0.7 plus 1.3 uh, star ratio to 0 to 1. This formula is taken up from this uh, implementation of RWKV by Blink DL which is the official implementation. So it says how the time should decay uh, through the implementation. So the time decay is an unknown parameter of the decay speed and this is a zigzag function which is used to stabilize the training again this is also taken from blink dl yeah. so what is the first time it should start like what is the time value of the time when it should start so that value is uh, firstly initialized to attention of torch torch dot once attention size power 0 0.3 plus zigzag so this is the value So we have initialized the time first. Now, now again we want to, you know, have this time mixing field like k, v, and r, which is almost same like x raised to the power one to almost zero. Uh, in this mix value case, these values are again taken up from the uh, blink DL page to stabilize the training. Uh, this is also again taken up from blink DL the exact formulas. Again, these are all learnable parameters which will be updated and then here we have this tracking parameters like a a b b p p x x i will come to this so here if you see we have this equation right a1 is equal to a0 plus v0 b1 is equal to so this is a recurrence equation so how is this calculated is what uh, so every time Every time the pass happens, it will update these values. So initially, this is, these are the formulas, and then we calculate the WKV by this. After that, we update the Q A dash B dash P T for the next run using this formula. So let's see here. So now we are initializing to torch dot once these values, all these values to once, and P P is uh, P P P P star minus infinity, which is one. Imp minus 1 e 30 so we're putting it to minus infinity and xx again is a past value so that we are putting it as once for now and we have this uh, key receptance value output all of these are linear layers so now what we'll do is xx is the previous self dot xx and then we calculate this xk xv xr uh, through the time mixing factor like we have seen previously and then we have our k, v and r which are through the linear layers and r is again passed through a sigmoidal layer because it is a forget gate. Now we are having this a, a, b, b, p, p which we saw. So we are padding, the, padding that up to make, make it into a correct size. Suppose that we multiply, we get the w matrix by adding the initial, initial time first and then k. And then we have our Q value, which is a max of P and W as seen from the, from this equation, max of P and W. And then we have our A numerator, B denominator, and then we calculate the WKV as A by B. And then we recompute the W, Q, E1, E2 uh, by adding the self DK and taking the maximum, uh, taking the exponent, uh, these are straightforward implementation of this formula which is written here and then we calculate our uh, xx as the parameter of parameter x so this is the previous input uh, and a is is updated b value is updated p value is updated and then finally we uh, output the output using r into wkv pass through a linear layer so these are the main two blocks, channel mixing and uh, 
टाइम मिक्सिंग पोज दैट रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स रिमेन सेम लाइक वो डिड डेट इन नैनो जी पी टी सो हियर वॉट डू वॉट डू वी डू इज वी हैव अ चैनल मिक्सिंग लेयर टाइम मिक्सिंग लेयर एंड फीड फॉरवर्ड लेयर एंड वी पास इट थ्रू अ लेयर नॉर्मल लेयर नॉर्मलाइजेशन एंड देन एफ एफ एन प्री विच इज चैनल मिक्सिंग एंड एट द इनपुट एंड देन यू पास इट थ्रू लेयर नॉर्मलाइजेशन एंड देन यू पास टू सेल्फ अटेंशन दैट इज अच्छा टाइम मिक्सिंग एंड यू रिटर्न इट फाइनली यूजिंग पास इन टू द चैनल मिक्सिंग लेयर अगेन सो दिस इज सो फाइनली आर डब्ल्यू के वी लुक्स लाइक दिस लाइक द लाइक ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट सेल्फ लाइक यू हैव अ सेट ऑफ ब्लॉक्स यू हैव अ लीनियर आउटपुट लेयर नॉम लेयर एंड देन लीनियर आउटपुट दैट इज अड ऑफ द फंक्शन लाइक बट इफ यू आर प्रोडक्ट इन द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर हाउ मनी कैरेक्टर्स आर दैट इज द आउटपुट दैट इज अ वोकैप साइज so now we so first we get the input and then pass it through a um, embedding layer then pass the input through blocks and then pass it through a layer normalizer and then pass it through a head linear layer so this is all same uh, same as what we have seen in uh, nano gpt uh, next time what i am doing is as an experiment i am training the tiny shakespeare data set uh, on this rwkv layer so i'm opening that i have some hyperparameters and then i have my input.txt which is a tiny shakespeare data set you can see here i have printed uh, the first 1000 characters from the data set after that i am doing uh, the encoding decoding of the tokens so first we are trying a char- character level transformer so uh, the vocab size is this Suppose that I have my encode and decode functions, which will take change from um, letters to the letters to uh, tokens and tokens back to letters. So we have a get batch function, which will get a random batch out of the input. So I created the RWKV layer, and then I have an optimizer with the model parameters, and I have a Uh, function to estimate the loss and now i am doing the training for for maximum number of iterations and then i'm taking a batch from the data set and i'm passing it through the model and doing the optimizer zero grad loss dot backward optimizer dot step so after training it for 5000 iterations i am printing this um, so i'm generating some characters and see you can see harmony you should by and form hither so this is one example it has created and with a well for good no so it has it has understood something and it has created it so now again we'll take a look at uh, word level rwkv where we just uh, encode the words instead of the letters so i have done that and you can see text was split first citizen before all of these are letters words so i have created a get batch for that and i'm training it on the i have updated the encode and decode functions and then now i'm training it on rwkv so this is a training same as before the so once we train it we can see the loss has reduced so now if you print the generate some uh, values henry all divided night to the rickman rough said a pleasure the boy do on so it has generated some kind of shakespeare the language if you train it more in more uh, for more time with bigger layers and could generate proper sentences of shakespeare so yeah this is it guys um, this is how we implement rwkv from scratch in pytorch thank you guys bye